Hello Aries. This is going to be your reading for Mercury Retrograde. Mercury went retrograde in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is in your, let's see, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Fourth house, fourth house, fourth house. So this is about your home. This is about, you know, um, the, the comforts of home. It's also about leadership as well. Aries, um, in general, in general, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking one card. That's your overall theme. We are going to be taking some tarot dice here. And we're going to take a romance angels. We are going to also take sacred traveler oracle. And we're going to take some Norse runes to find out what your spirit guides want you to know. So this is in your in your home, your house, your family. It could be some sort of movement here. You might be getting back in touch with some relatives you haven't spoken to in a while. See, your overall theme, Six of Swords, moving to a more peaceful time, leaving behind any worries, fears, difficulties you're, you've been struggling with. So that's beautiful. Moving towards peace. I love it. I love it. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know for this time frame. The Mercury retrograde period is from June 18th to July 12th and can extend beyond it with the post-shadow period. So we have partnership. Look at that. <laughs> partnership. That can be romantic partnership. Or that could be, be love partnership. It can also be a gift coming your way. And then we have growth. Could be rebirth. Ooh, and we have one in reverse. Okay, but that's that's about your material possessions. Could be about your home. Uh, you know, there may it's possible that with Mercury retrograde, um, it's possible you may have an expense associated with your home. So please be sure to set some money aside just in case. But uh, it looks like, so we have partnership, growth, and then possessions. Um, this not only can have to do with your wealth, but can it, also, it can also have to do with your general vitality. It could be the vitality of this partnership. Uh, very likely we're looking at a romantic partnership since we are looking at home and family. With these these three runes, I believe that spirit is saying to you, Aries, it's saying, you know, now is the time when you should kind of reflect upon where is your relationship going? What needs to be worked on? What needs to be addressed? What can be improved on? What needs to change? That sort of thing. So, Spirit saying, reflect on your relationship. Reflect on your partnership. If you're not in a partnership, it's not. That's not your message. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, we have three, two, five. So we have the seven of cups, the two of cups, the queen of cups, and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so the ten of swords in the reverse. Okay. So there, there's some mental anguish and confusion associated with a love partnership. And here we have this partnership. So this is entirely appears to be related to somebody who's already in a partnership or will be entering one during the Mercury retrograde period. So there's going to be some confusion associated with this emotional connection. With the Queen of Cups here, somebody's very likely going to be expressing how they feel. And Aries, I feel that that's going to, to kind of make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Although you're strongly connected to this person, I don't think you're at a point where you're ready to communicate exactly how you're feeling yet. Um, this feels like it might be a new connection, a new romantic connection, or one that has returned that you had said, whoa, wait a minute, uh-uh, no, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to come back. And yet here they are. Because it's leaving you with this sense of, of kind of holding on to some of the worries and, and fears and things like that. So it it's very likely that somebody has expressed their emotions to you before you are ready to hear them. 
or perhaps when you were at a point where you weren't prepared to hear them. So it may cause you to have to move to a time of reflection. Now I do see this is gonna bring you peace. You are gonna be happy about it, but not initially, not when it's first spoken. When it's first spoken, it could cause some fear and worry. Aries, please, Aries. Vast vistas expand your horizons. This is saying, you know, look at the bigger picture of things. You know, don't just don't just be small minded about this. Look at the bigger picture. How does this impact your life? How does this, you know, impact your home life? Passion and pleasure. Look at that. Savor your life. See, I told you you're going to be happy about it, but not at first. Not at first. You're not going to be happy about it at first, but look at that. Somebody that you have strong, passionate connection with. How beautiful. Live in the moment, Aries. Live in the moment with this, this card. That was a bad Kimmy um, shuffle. <laughs> Aries, please. Aries. Aries. Express your love. See, and that's interesting. So somebody else is coming towards you to express how they're feeling and you're being told, go ahead, ex express how you're feeling to this person. It's okay, Aries. It's okay for you to respond and tell them how you're feeling. And our card that fell on the floor was give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. So this is spirit saying, hey, Aries, yeah, this is scary. Yeah, it's going to kind of catch you off guard, but it is going to bring peace. It is going to bring a sense of happiness. So put the effort in to work on this partnership. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Good luck to you. I'll see you again soon.